Hi, I'm Tom Torlakson. As State Superintendent of Schools for California and as a teacher, I thank you for taking some time to find out more about our new computer-based assessments. These new tests are going to be helping improve learning and teaching in our California classrooms. These new tests will give us new insights and new tools to help reach every student to make sure we're providing the kind of world-class education they need for success in careers in college. Thank you for watching and thank you for your interest in the future of California's children. Welcome to the California Department of Education's Smarter Balanced Field Test video resources. These resources are designed to help you, the education community, learn more about what's needed to prepare for the Spring 2014 Smarter Balanced Field Test, as well as the Spring 2015 Operational Test. This video will help teachers to integrate the assessment strategies and technology skills from the practice and training tests into daily classroom instruction. It offers teachers at both elementary and secondary levels guiding questions for planning lessons that engage students in complex thinking activities and technology-enhanced assessment. Although this video uses a sixth grade ELA example, Secondary content area teachers may use this process to work with the literacy standards for history, social science, science, and other technical subjects, focusing on reading and writing. It is expected that our viewers will be teachers with prior knowledge of the CCSS, the new statewide assessment system, CASP, the Smarter Balanced Field Test, the Practice and Training Tests, and, importantly, how to use classroom assessment formatively to guide next steps in teaching. In this example, teacher teams use a series of guiding questions to plan lessons collaboratively. The step-by-step -step process incorporates assessment strategies and technology skills from the practice and training tests into students' classroom learning activities. The collaborative planning process can be used in all content areas. Let's preview the guiding questions. Number one, what are the content standards to be addressed in this lesson? Number two, what evidence will be sufficient to demonstrate that students have achieved the learning goals of the lesson? Number three, which assessment strategies from the practice and training tests might be used to gather evidence of learning during instruction and at the end of the lesson? Number four, at which points in the lesson will the assessment strategies be integrated? Number five, what technology skills could the teacher or students use to access content and respond to questions during instruction and at the end of the lesson? Number six. At which points in the lesson will the teacher demonstrate the use of the technology skills required on the practice and training tests? At which point in the lesson will students use those technology skills? Guiding question one. What are the content standards to be addressed in this lesson? What are the specific, standards-aligned learning goals of the lesson? Let's look at an example content standard that might be addressed in a lesson on reading informational text. Cite textual evidence to support analysis of what the text says explicitly, as well as inferences drawn from the text. A version of this standard appears at all grade levels and can be applied by content area teachers. A sixth grade standard has been chosen as the midpoint in the grade spans assessed. Collaborative grade-level teacher teams will start by identifying the specific learning goal of a single lesson. One learning goal for this standard might be Students will analyze text to determine what the text says explicitly and will cite textual evidence to support their answers. Guiding Question 2 What evidence will be sufficient to demonstrate that students have achieved the learning goals of the lesson? At this point, Teacher teams determine the amount of evidence and depth of knowledge students need to provide to demonstrate skills and comprehension. They collaborate to identify specific evidence, verbal or written, that demonstrates, in this case using the sixth grade standard, that their students can successfully analyze text, determine what it says explicitly, select appropriate evidence from the text, and explain how the citation supports their answers. Ideally, teacher teams will also collaborate to determine appropriate performance expectations for students with disabilities and for English learners at different levels of English language proficiency based on the California ELD standards. Guiding Question 3. Which assessment strategies from the practice and training tests 
might be used to gather evidence of learning during instruction and at the end of the lesson. At this point, teacher teams determine what assessment strategies could be incorporated into instruction. What assessment strategies are central to deeper understanding of texts and are used on the sixth grade practice and training tests? Teams review the practice and training test to learn what students will experience at that grade level. The sixth grade ELA practice test asks students to respond to multiple choice items by identifying key facts or information from a given passage and selecting a sentence or sentences from the passage to support their answer. Students are also asked to write sentences that identify explicit information from the text and to cite specific sentences from the text that support their answer. After review, teachers identify the assessment strategies that they feel will provide the best evidence of the student's learning in the lesson. Guiding Question 4 at which points in the lesson will the assessment strategies used on the practice and training tests be integrated? Teacher teams will decide when to embed the assessment strategies into instruction. Options to consider might include during the modeling phase of the lesson, during the student-guided practice phase, or during the independent practice phase. Guiding Question 5 what technology skills could the teacher or students use to access content and respond to questions during instruction and at the end of the lesson? Teacher teams again review the practice and training test, this time to learn which technology skills students will need to use to identify what the text says explicitly and to select appropriate citations from the text. On the 6th grade ELA practice test, Students are required to click one or more sentences from the passage and also to write sentences in a text box. Students will need to use the mouse and to have basic keyboarding skills in order to respond to these types of test items. After review, teacher teams can decide which uses of technology to include in the planned lesson and instruction. Guiding Question 6 At which point in the lesson will the teacher demonstrate the use of the technology skills required on the practice and training tests? At which point in the lesson will students use those technology skills? Last, teacher teams decide when to embed the use of technology into instruction. Options to consider might include during the modeling phase of the lesson, during the student-guided practice phase, during the independent practice phase. This video has presented one way to integrate the high-quality content assessment and technology skills used in the smarter, balanced practice and training tests into daily instruction. Thank you for viewing this video. Take time to view the other available videos and to share these resources with other educators, students, and parents.